some creative jobs maybe will go away, um, but maybe they shouldn't have been there in the first place. Uh, you know, if, if the content that comes out of it is not very high quality. Maybe you should all start using your brains for a bit, work in tech, start a dropshipping company. Also, maybe you should get a degree in computer science, become a lucrative member of society and stop scribbling all day. Sitting in front of a screen, writing code all day, sapping all your energy and life force away? Sounds like a cop-out for not being smart enough. Maybe if you wanna draw something, you should just type it all out on a computer and let it do all of the grunt work for you. Work smarter, not harder, loser. Maybe this lady has the creative whimsy of a demure potato chip and deals with it by looking down on the lesser jobs that she could never have landed. Maybe. That was Mira Murati and she is the chief technology officer for OpenAI. That clip was from an hour long interview held by Dartmouth University's faculty of engineering on the tech behind DALI, uh, OpenAI and ChatGPT. She also says that the goal of AI is to democratize creativity on an unprecedented scale. Everyone gets to be fucking creative with AI. Quote, a person's creative skills should not be limited by their access to resources, education, or industry connections. This is the type of drivel that AI bros try to feed you whenever you try to call out AI for being the sh** that is. AI makes art accessible. AI makes creativity accessible. Listen, creativity is maybe the most accessible thing that we have. It is an innate skill that we all possess. The only thing you need to exercise it is your mind. It doesn't get more accessible than that. What sets artists apart though is that we've learned the skills necessary to turn that creativity into art. The skill of drawing is what is inaccessible because you fucking read it. Composition, anatomy, color theory, etc. A myriad of fucking skills that you need to be able to make good art. But none of those are talents. And none of your favorite artists fell out of a coconut tree knowing all these skills. We all spend hundreds, if not thousands of hours studying, training our eyes, training our hands to be able to make good art. And AI bros might say, uh uh, see, who would want to go through all of that when you can have your creative vision be realized within seconds by using AI? Bradley, Bradley, Bradley. It is as if you are asking me, why am I charting a new path through those old woods, passing by that fairy glade over there, uh, by that magical stream over here, arriving at a totally unique, beautiful waterfall, when I could just take the cabin to a tourist trap. <laughs> Something that AI people could never understand is that art is mostly about the fuck journey you have to make the art it is an itch artists make art because their creative passion burns if they don't that could never be satisfied by a soulless piece of tech that is why i would never consider people who use ai to make art artists because they just don't fucking get it. They know nothing of the need that drives us to spend so much time studying and learning and making the art. Because if they would, they would be out here learning and making the art, which is very fucking accessible also. We live in the age of the internet where you can find all the resources you need to learn for free. Just a click away. AI art is simply not exercising your creativity at all. Oh, you are telling a machine vaguely what you would like the image to turn out as and then pick and choose based on visuals which one you like more. I've seen a very dumb rebuttal at this. An AI bro was like, ah, so playwrights and, and writers of TV shows, they're not artists because they are writing the story. They're not actually making it happen. They're not actually participating in the end result, babes. I can look at a player and enjoy it as a singular piece of art. The story is all there. Doesn't have to be put into play for me to enjoy it. Have you ever read Shakespeare? What am I saying? Of course you have not. Do you honestly believe that your AI prompts have the same artistic value as a play? Ah, yes, the great artwork of a girl walking through a field, anime, cinematic, sweeping landscape, 
anime, 1980s anime, but a realistic representation, graceful balance, 4K. But guys, I feel like AI users really wish they could express themselves creatively, but they haven't had the proper way of cultivating the skills for it. Which is where today's sponsor can come in to help. Skillshare. An artist's journey is never over. We constantly hone our skills by learning new techniques. No matter what your medium for creativity is, Skillshare has so many different classes. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives, with thousands of classes taught by industry experts across film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, and more. Skillshare can help you take your career, skills, hobbies, or side hacks to the next level. It helps you turn your I want to's and I made it happen. With art, going back over basics is always a good idea and this class on form and perspective has helped me a lot to do just that. You can go with individual classes or if you'd rather have a curated experience, you can go with learning paths, which are sequential class collections to master a specific skill. This is the summer where you turn into a learned mysterious baddie because Skillshare has hooked the little blind moles app. The first 500 people to use the link in my description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. It started today. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's get back to today's topic. So the goal of AI is not to make creativity accessible as it is the most accessible thing we have as humans. So if the goal of AI companies is not to make creativity accessible, then what is it? Now don't be silly. Why does any company do anything? I'm here for money. Money. But the way that they've chosen to make money is even more detrimental to the common folk than usual. Which is very hard in capitalism. To answer the title, yeah. The ultimate goal of AI companies is not to enhance creativity and imagination, but to kill as many jobs as possible to make money for the people who have money. Why would a CEO choose to hire 10 artists who need benefits and a livable wage when they can pay for a tool who can supposedly do all their work and more? Except it really can't. You probably already know that AI generators can't actually create anything original. All AIs are being trained by being fed a database of information. It learns what to do by recognizing patterns within this information and replicating it. Copying it. Plagiarizing it, if you will. It is creating an image from nothing. How is it doing this? Exactly. It's, it's an original image, never seen before. And, um, you know, we have been making images since the beginning of time. And we simply took a great deal of these images and we fed them into this AI system. So if that's the case, if it's all new and it has not been done before, what is this? That is my art. That is my art put through some sort of AI. These two, they have nothing to do with each other. Oh my God, how could I have been so dumb as to imply otherwise? In the case of AI art generators, the database of information is made up of billions of pieces of art made by unconsenting artists. You can also train AI to produce an artwork of a specific art style. Even though this may seem harmless, people who are not very familiar with AI can see these images and believe that they were actually drawn by the artist. And if the image happened to be something offensive or hateful, the artist's integrity would be damaged. Also, if I get one more TikTok on my FYP saying, oh, this is what I would look like as a Ghibli character. This is what I would look like as an One Piece character. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. No one does. It looks like shit. Also, maybe let's stop normalizing this since it's art theft. Getting inspiration one artist to another is one thing, but having a machine create an indistinguishable copy of your life's work is beyond disrespectful. And what if they did it after you died? Kim Jung-ki is a beloved Korean artist who has passed away in October of 2022. And it took a staggering three days for someone to create an AI based off of its art style. Damn! Had the family even had a funeral yet? What the f- They're not even gonna let us rest when we're dead, man. We're gonna work forever. And what's even more infuriating, the slapstick of a human who made it called it an homage and encouraged people to use it as long as they credit 
hopeless. The sheer audacity of asking credit for work that is not yours is a bit, it's so astonishing. It's so astonishing that it should be studied, honestly. So again, why would a company who only cares about making money choose real artists when you can replicate their exact work for a fraction of the price even after the death? Wizards of the Coast, the notoriously greedy company who holds the IP for Dungeons and Dragons, used AI in their marketing materials. They had previously denounced AI and promised to never use it, so they tried denying it. They later backtracked, saying the image was outsourced and poor little million dollar company could not possibly be expected to check every single image that they post. Mm -hmm. Not even after people call them out. An eerily similar story happened with Wacom. If you are a digital artist, you know that Wacom is maybe the best well-known drawing tablet manufacturing company. So the fact that they would do this is fucking astonishing. And it didn't even happen only once. How about you do some fucking research? You have so much money and people. If you needed another reason to hate AI, there is also the fact that training these AIs and generating all these images is taking an incredibly high amount of energy, much like mining Bitcoin does, which of course is so incredibly bad for the environment for no reason because you could just pay an artist and you know as bad as the situation is at least all artists are united we're all denouncing and sh talking ai at every opportunity except that of course it's not the f case there are some very big artists with huge platforms who are either openly or sneakily incorporating ai into their process both incredibly harmful for different reasons. Ergo, Josh, an artist with 700,000 subscribers here on YouTube has recently posted a video titled How a Real Artist Uses AI. And in it, he talks all about how he has been using AI art as references for years, possibly alienating all of his fans who are all artists, thus stealing from a thief still count as stealing. This artist would certainly say no. Without going through the very, very long-winded, pretentious process that he is explaining, he basically takes an AI image that he generated, uh, edits it a bit, then goes back into the AI image generator, gets the AI to describe the image into prompts, then generates something again, then edits that, and goes through this whole process like four times and the image that he gets uh he uses as a reference why go through all of that when you can just draw i don't know man i've never watched him but in this whole debacle he just seems so pretentious as a creative tech geek i know how to use a recently updated free app to overlay my drawing onto my computer screen that's like common knowledge bro why are you trying to make it seem like it's something that you need a specialized am i not getting this right like put the image on your computer screen you can just send the image what the fuck at one point it's like uh, i wanted the face to look more like the work of this artist uh what if you just looked at the art if you wanted to know how to draw hair well just look at artists who know how to draw hair well they're gonna teach you much better than a fucking AI. people have been calling him out he keeps doubling down on how he doesn't want to find references because it's too much work that's too much work bro in the time that it took him to generate and edit and generate again he could have found so many fucking references and probably be done with the drawing too it's really not that hard. Just don't use a tool that is leeching off of your community. Like, just because you're using it to photo bash everything together, just because you think you are like a director and you're like creating this little corner and that little corner and then I'm bashing them together. I'm not taking the initial image that I gave me. I keep fucking editing it and regenerating it and I go through all of these extra, extra steps. So it must be more ethical 
at the end of the day, you are still using a tool that was created by stealing from artists. It's clear that he is a very good artist. So why the f would you turn to AI? It's definitely insecurity because it's so easy to look at all of these images that look very high quality with very detailed rendering being made in seconds, even though it would have taken you hours and wonder why do I even bother? But there is no an excuse to be so irresponsible with your platform because why are you promoting a tool that steals from artists but as bad as promoting ai art is at least there is no artist who would use ai in their commission art lie to the client about it gaslight them and refuse to refund them when they catch them in the act michelle hoffner is a professional artist best known for their work with riot games specifically for her League of Legends character banner art. Now, look at these. They're all gorgeous, okay? And they predate AI. So there is no foul play here, at least none involving AI. So I don't know what monster of greed possessed her to deliver this atrocity to the person, to the poor soul who commissioned her the person who got scam is actually one of you guys their little blind mole shout out to cody they sent me this so that we can bring awareness to another artist that has turned out to be a horrible human being and that so no one else gets their money stolen so let's break this story down because as sad as it is it's actually a great case study on how to avoid and recognize ai art and also people who use ai in their process now when buying or commissioning art most people would not go for ai art because if you stare at it for more than five minutes the amount of care that was put into it starts showing and it looks like shit. hands that look like eldritch abominations writing that is harder to decipher than linear a if it's meant to be fan art it's not fan art of the character but of someone wearing a dollar store halloween custom of that character but what if the scammer is actually a bit of an artist and they can paint over those really glaring mistakes and try to pass it off as real art this is what michelle hoffner and many others are doing right now just to preface michelle is being sent very clear references of the character that needs to be drawn a lot of communication everything is being explained very well so the first thing that they sent is this it's very first glance it doesn't look super suspicious you know it's a sketch some stuff looks a bit weird like the very blurry a value work in the back then in hindsight we can see that the very clear reference was ignored a bit without discussing it with the client the ears on the hat are missing you can chalk that up to perspective maybe but also the outfit is very different the hoodie is unzipped the scarf thingy is on the outside and again these are details that maybe you'd not have noticed but then they send this sus mother image now working in patches like this is definitely a technique that real artists use sometimes especially if it's people who come from a background of oil painting because that's the technique that you use there but this is definitely not the most common technique and also it doesn't match the sketch very well it's also blurry in some places while it's uh, okay in others the eye color is wrong and then the next progress update that she sends made me lose my with laughter how would you send this and hope that the person would not notice that this is the eye interesting interesting right very interesting right i wonder <laughs> then this is the final product that they sent i feel like the only thing that maybe they did was the hair because AI is pretty sh at hair and maybe the hands but if they did the hands why did they not fix the mother f bat right here okay so very big telltale sign in AI is just stuff not making sense the cars the cars bro this writing right here on the hoodie that means nothing it was not in the reference this insignia that again it was not in the reference and it looks like nothing and when she got called out for using ai even though her commissions are advertised as real art she started the uh, gaslighting 
in, in playing the fucking victim. Oh, you're trying to steal money from me. You're trying to make me work for free. Are you for fucking real? A two-year-old could tell that this is fucking AI. Come on now. Sadly, even though Cody started a dispute over this, PayPal has not yet refunded them the money. Hopefully it's gonna happen because this is crazy. And hopefully you guys stay clear of Michelle Hoffner. There is also a possibility that her accounts got hacked since all of the art on there is years old and anything that is new is just reposts of old art. And there is lots of spammy promotion of her commissions. If that's the case, the real Michelle hasn't said anything as of the making of this video, so she may not even know it. It may also still be her. There is no way of knowing. It's a very weird situation. So we can definitely without a shadow of a doubt to say that AI art is so dangerous in so many different aspects and we all need to keep demanding stronger restrictions around it. If you'd like to hear more discussions about art and about different things in general, please hit that subscribe button. The ethical thing to do would be to caress the like button so that this video reaches more people so that they know about all of this just saying check out the sponsor helps me out a lot also check out my patreon for some free brushes and some learning resources by yours truly leave a comment i read them all and i like to know what you're thinking about this whole mess bye bye don't let the ai bite you